Welcome back to the build everybody. In this video, I'm going to start fabricating up the exhaust. It's one of the last major things to do before, uh, you know, before we're pretty much done with the chassis and start the electrical. When you order an SLC from RCR, uh, they will optionally make the exhaust for you. In my case, you know, I moved that engine back so the standard exhaust probably wouldn't fit. And also I have ODB2 emissions requirements. So, yeah, I just felt it was better to uh, fab it up myself. So if this is of interest, stick around and stay tuned. All right, so we'll take a look at my trusty iPad here and this is the first rendering of the exhaust system. So I looked at probably a hundred picks online of various SLC exhausts and I sort of, you know, took elements of those systems that I liked and, and what I need to do from a emissions compliance standpoint and incorporated it into an exhaust. Uh, basically what I have here is a downpipe, ODB2 catalytic converter, ultra quiet resonator, and then if necessary, I'll add some mufflers after the resonator. And this is just one rendering. I've got a couple different scenarios there. But anyway, I drew this out. I was pretty comfortable with it. And then I took some patterns of the components that, I'm go that I was going to buy. And I made these patterns, 2D patterns, uh, for the exhaust. And also, as you can see, I've got a brand new work table here. I've got a brand new freezer. Well, a few weeks ago, I was away on vacation. And, you know, my son, my son was taking care of the house. He's like, Dad, the garage don't smell too good. So anyway, I was away for a couple of weeks and I came home. And sure enough, the garage smelled really foul and the GFI outlet tripped. So this freezer was sitting here full of food, uh, you know, just sort of ripening up. And I made the mistake of opening up the top of the freezer and taking a whiff and I, I literally almost vomited immediately. It was it was so vile. But anyway, I couldn't get the stink out of the freezer. I had to throw it away. And I got a nice new one that's nice and quiet. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one of these panners. I'll put it on the car so you can see what the exhaust looks like in 2D. And then we'll start to fabricate fabricate up the actual components. Okay, well this is the template mounted in the car, just uh, taped in the car. i point out a couple of things. So we got the downpipe, then behind there is the catalytic converter, then we got the ultra-quiet resonators. Now this is just 2D, and I could have some challenges, you know, with the cat being too close to some wiring and some sensors and maybe some of these bolts in the way. Uh, but now the hard part, now we're going to make it up out of metal. And before I do that, I'll show you the different components and the brands of parts that I bought. Okay, we're going to go over to the work table, protecting the surface so I don't uh, make a mess out of it the first week I, the first week I own it. But anyway, these are uh, the basic parts I'm going to use to get started with the exhaust. So. Uh, these items, these are from Tab Zone. They make an LS7 compatible flange, which is the same flange on the LT4. This is a stainless steel tab. I'm not thrilled with the surface. It's, it's sort of grainy. So I'm going to have to have that machine down so it's nice and smooth so the gasket seals well. This is a vibrant, ultra-quiet resonator. And these are really nice for the money. 304 stainless steel. Uh, they're pretty heavy and they, they really do a nice job of dampening the exhaust. Hopefully, you know, I'll just put some uh, tips on these that are also resonators and I won't need to use the mufflers, but if I need to add a muffler, I'll figure out how to do it. These are the catalytic converters. These are made by a company called GSI or, or GESI and these are 400 cell catalytic converters so these are as good as you know OEM 
catalytic converters very expensive they recently almost doubled in price I was waiting for a sale they went on sale I ordered them they were out of stock and they said oh the new ones are coming in and when the new ones came in they were like double the price and these are just some stainless steel 304 uh, tubes I got off Amazon all right one thing to note that the cat and also the uh, muffler this sort of helps in fabricating these these pipes are just a little bit oversized so they slide in they slide in here and they slide in here so you don't have to be a hundred percent perfect with with your cuts and your angles so you do have a little bit of adjustability then you tack it up and weld it up so that's going to help quite a bit all right so let's see the first thing we're going to do is cut a couple of these and we'll take a look and see how things fit versus the template and then we'll figure out a way to anchor these items on the car and see how they line up okay well this is the first step in the fabrication process so i've got to take these stainless steel tubes and i want to cut them at you know roughly a 70 degree degree angle so yeah, i don't really have a fancy uh, angle bandsaw that I can cut stainless steel. So what I do is I just use a, a stainless steel um, I don't know what this is just a, a silicone band clamp or a band clamp and I tighten it around and it actually comes out at the right angle and then I use a Dremel uh, with the Dremel disc and just cut the edge off. It does take a good half hour per piece but you know it gives you a very accurate accurate cut and actually this is the first one I did just cut my finger great all right very sharp you gotta see you gotta sand those edges off but anyway look at that it's just perfect without any fancy equipment all right I gotta go repair I gotta go repair my finger all right stay tuned Okay, so the task at hand really is to figure out where I place the cutting band so that when I insert it into the cat, it's literally straight into the downpipe. And I can do it by eye and I do have a little bit of wiggle room, but I figured out I would just take the pie cut that was left over from the previous cut on the top piece, on the top piece, measure the distance plus the width of the Dremel tool and then place the place the uh, the clamp band that distance from the edge of the tube and also on the bottom and now I've got a mirror image of the one on top so it should line up perfectly so I'm going to cut this and then we'll see if that theory that theory holds all right well at first blush that came out perfect I mean I mean that's great First two cuts look good. So, you know, look, if this goes in, this sort of clears the frame area, it should sit slightly above the frame. And if this uh, clears uh, the spark plug wire and also the knock sensor, and then one of the bolts from the, the rear engine mount or two of the bolts from the rear engine mount, we are in good shape and then I've just got to fabricate this up and I would like to add a little joint here so if I ever to ever have to replace the cat or work on this I don't have to take the the uh, downpipe off which you know those bolts can get really stubborn but we'll see if we can fit all that uh, into that area it, re it really is pretty tight I put the uh, resonator in with the first first of the connecting tubes and you can see we're pretty close to that spark plug boot so more than likely I'll, I'll probably have to take a little bit maybe half inch or three quarter of an inch off of the resonator uh, if you noticed on the prior segment the resonator was sticking out a little further so when I made the template I think I realized that uh, we're gonna place the cat in and we'll, we'll just get a peek at, at how that fits Okay, well this will be a little hard to see, but I got the catalytic in and basically you got the, the pipe, you know, it's not exactly perpendicular, so it's resting on a hockey puck. 
that'll come down a little bit but the good news is if we can find the gap here so the cat goes starts on top of that rear engine mount so I can move the the tube in a little bit and get a better angle and I think I have enough room for everything so you know here's the, the spark plug wire definitely gonna move the uh, move this back you know a half an inch or so but then on this side in this area here uh, basically down below if I can spot it with the laser right below that area there's a knock sensor so I have to have some shielding in there and then the shifter cables are actually going to go down in here so I'm definitely going to need some shielding and that should work out but as a first pass I think we're looking good so the next step really is to trim just a little bit off I may have to take that off in half inch chunks maybe a half inch and then maybe a quarter inch and then we'll we'll have that fitted in there uh, good enough to start the downpipe so I think what we'll do is uh, the next segment will be a wrap I'll trim that resonator a little bit and then we'll take a look okay well at this point I think I'm gonna call it a wrap I'm not going to start to trim that resonator up I really want to start to mock up the uh, downpipes coming out of the flange and see how that meets up with the pipes that I fabbed up in this episode okay so We'll take a break. Thanks for watching. Take care. And the next video will start with the uh, downpipe.